We are at a John Deere 544B. Wiley? Yes? All it needs is batteries. Yeah. How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, bud? It's hot. It is hot. I'm melting. <laughs> Dude. You know when they say sugar melts when you got in the rain, you know what I mean? Well, I'm sugar melting into daggum sunshine. Here's periodic service chart for the old Juliet Delta 544 Bravo. It's got keys in it, Wiley. We're good. Oh, it's still out there. Yep. So this has been setting since the 1900s. 1999, I think he said he parked it here. I can't remember. Party like it's 1999. Dude, I love Prince. Seriously. He's one of the best bass, underrated best bass players that, that they're that, oh. in music history. Anyway, um, so yeah, here's the John Deere. Hmm. All right, it's got a flat tire. We don't have an air compressor, but maybe we can get it out of this hole. It's got two or three flat tires. Mm-hmm. Good thing about it though, they're only flat on bottom. I'm trying to look for a data plate while we're sitting here, but let me keep looking. You ever worked on one of these, Wiley? It's been a long time since I uh, have been around one of these. Yeah. So here, the gentleman said that, I think he did say 1999, to be honest with you. Um, he said he parked down here because it had a hydraulic leak. All it needs is batteries. There's the data plate, the John Deere, with the serial number, I think. All right, so let's... That's not going to tell you anything, but reconfirm it's a 544B with that's six, it. six digits. Yeah, that's all it says. All right, so let's open up this bad boy and see what she's got. All righty. Reckon we'll see any snakes today, buddy? Don't talk them up, please. <laughs> Words have power, right? Uh, go, right, no, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All I need is batteries. This is a six cylinder John Deere. I'm not sure about six to 68. Back in the day, but here's a tag there that'll probably tell us something. You can get your camera and put on it later. Yeah. yeah. Two build alternator. Yeah. Probably a Delco. I would assume so. Hey, what's the difference between an alternator and a generator? Um, well, Besides thousands of dollars. <laughs> well, if my memory serves me correct, an alternator, let's see, I remember this from college. Alternator makes AC current, a generator makes AC DC current. I know that. Also, and you guys can correct me. Let me know in the comments if this part is true. The alternator has the magnets. No. Yeah, the magnets go around the stator. I think that, and then the generator, the stator goes around the magnets. The stationary, in the generator, the magnets are stationary, if I recall correctly. And essentially, the magnets... It's the theory of EMF, to be honest with you, but I, I mean, <laughs> about electromagnetics when it's in certificate force, it creates current, blah, blah, but that's a little deep. But I'm pretty sure that there's the main difference is AC-DC current for a generator and also that how the magnets. AC-DC, why didn't mm -hmm. they just name their group generator? Why didn't they? You know, they would have been so much better. They probably would have been more popular, to be yeah. honest with you. So, I mean, golly, they are what this thing doing on the oil. Oh man, this thing making oil. I'm telling you, this needs batteries. I want to board some of that and carry it over. Shoot, man. Some of that 1979 <laughs> oil. Yeah. There's a few. Actually, actually, you know what? I wish I knew what year it was because mm -hmm. in the 70s, you were probably still paying $40 for five ga or a gallon of oil. Need that Hamiltonville farm stick. Yeah. We don't run into many uh, fuel reservoirs inside there. Mm -mm. It's very well protected. It's going to be a challenge there. Oh, yeah. It's got a thing. Oh, oh, okay, well. Oh, I'm sorry. I just threw it away because I just assumed you were correct in what you are talking about. What's this called? Milkweed? Mm, I'm not sure. It, yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Take a bite of it and see. Is this milky? Yeah. That's okay. something over there a little bit. But anyway, we'll see. You drop it down in there. It went quick. Uh oh. Oh, look at there. Look at that. Uh oh. That's off the milk. Okay. Oh man, definitely 1999. He wasn't lying about parking it in 99. 
I think I'm going to title this video, Hasn't Ran Since the 1900s. <laughs> Since the late 1900s. Oh, Lord. That sounds a long time ago. Man, don't it, though? Is this a battery box, maybe? I would guess. Oh, good Lord. Oh, mercy. <laughs> let, me get the, uh, let me get the spray, Wiley. Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> Test the season. But these aren't washed. These are just, these are some kind of different type of bee. Yellow jacket? Yeah, maybe. But uh, they're not. I've been hornet spray. <laughs> nothing to say about yellow jackets. Let's see how far away we. Let's see if that's reaching it. All right. Uh oh, we're out of ammo. We're out of ammo, Wally. Wiley, remind me to pick up a new can of that next time we at the store. It's the season, you know. I need, I think that's the battery box. That might just have been no, a toolbox. No, that was just the storage. Yeah. Here we, we are. We about died for a storage. We about died, but daggum. Open up this side, Wiley. We in trouble. The battery's going to be under the seat because I see the red cable and it's running up. Okay. It'll be behind the, the seat. Okay. Uh-oh, there's some wire for yeah <laughs> just in case the patented jumper wire scenario mm -hmm. huh okay fuel let's check that water up there mm, not looking good but i mean you could tell it's been wet but it ain't wet no yeah. more them are guinea walls the small ones was guinea walls yeah yeah, those one bite three or four times before they yeah. die. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, boss man. Let's go look at that seat. I'm looking where I'm stepping to make sure I ain't going to bring out no slithering. Company. No company that crawls on his belly. That's been condemned to crawl on his belly. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Let's see, Hank. All right. Ooh. I'm thinking under that. This pulls up for something. Huh? This does something. That's hydraulic tank. Okay. And then there, oh, this must, this must be the get into that storage unit. Oh, no, here's batteries, Wiley. All right. Cables look good, buddy. They've talking cables in 79. Yeah. This is a, make sure it's a negative ground. All right, buddy, I hear you back there. We might just be able to throw some jumper cables on. I doubt it. Come on now. Have but we got our battery tester. Yeah. Does this have a, uh, Master cutoff switch, disconnect switch. I, I don't know. Uh -uh. Damn, oh, he got right there. Look at him. Yep, yeah, he got you, but oh, and he's dying though. See, if you'd have, I said, Molly, put some gloves on, didn't I? <laughs> Listen, don't let this test our friendship, Wiley. <laughs> All righty. Probably get the jumper cables. And I'll get up here and hook them up for them. All right, that should be good. I'm looking at that fuel, yeah. fuel box. Let me see if this is, I don't think it's a 60-68, but. Huh? Let me see. Because I think the 60-68s actually, actually have it on the block. 
Tim, this is probably a 60-59. I can try to tell if it's out of gear or not. I don't really know. Whatever that is, don't work no more. Lock in neutral before starting. I think it was I think it was in neutral. I think she's in neutral. You want to double check because feel those hydraulic levers there. I, I did. That's a good sign. Yellow flaw on your cheek there. There you go. Yeah, this is a good sign. But this one, I don't know what this one is, but it don't work. That's the seat. Oh, that that's all it does is the seat? Well, don't I feel like a knucklehead? <laughs> Trying to see if you see any fuel coming out of it. Or, uh, can tell if fuel's getting to it, I should say. Yeah, I ain't getting no... I ain't getting any stroke on my... Oh, your, uh, yeah. primer? Yeah. I didn't bring a fuel can, neither. Hey, Wiley. Hey. There is a crescent wrench in here. A what? There was a crescent wrench in there. <laughs> yeah, I seen it. It's not a crestology though. Because uh -huh. <laughs> those are super rare. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Yes, it'll bump. All it needs is batteries. Did that help the fuel any? It did. It gave me a little bit of stroke. Oh good. Maybe he wasn't telling a story. Cause sometimes we go to people's places and they say ram when parked and that i don't know if that was you know sometimes i don't know if that's true <laughs> look at the fuel bowl on the side sure is ain't it bring it in on up yeah right there yeah going up quick that's what i'm talking about that's good fuel too I mean, that sucker, that fuel ain't 25 years old. So, what we're gonna do is. Let's bring the two batteries out to you and give it some help. Alright, we'll do that. Should we, uh. Let me look at this air cleaner. Let me look for the air cleaner while, while you're doing that. Yeah, back to the old battery toting days. We're gonna take two or one? Uh. Try one like we did on the on the skitter. Okay. All it needs is batteries. Hopefully that hopefully that's a true statement. I was going to try to do this. We figured this one was going to be pretty simple. So I was actually going to try to do a live stream, but the signal is that fuel. Yeah. Looks like he rubbed the line and oh yeah. Put him up. Yeah. Yeah, we might be getting air in this thing. Yeah, maybe, huh? Might be why I parked it. But what I was gonna tell you is we figured this one might be pretty simple. So we was gonna live stream it, but we don't. I don't have a signal out here. So that was the end of that idea. Breeze feels good, Wiley. Yes, it does. It's my party. I'll cry <laughs> if I want to. <laughs> Quit playing with my back. I'm trying not to, dude. Hey, they're gonna fit on there. You got you need my knife. Yeah. <laughs> what you need? Let's just use that one right there. All righty. But it said make sure it's negative ground, dude. That's a joke, Wow. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Most of the time they're bad. I 
Well, that's good. That saves us another pair of ice grips. You know what? Here you go. I need to cut that rubber piece off there. Maybe that's good. Uh, we'll see, won't we? All right, buddy. Whenever you're ready. Maybe not. Yeah, it just needs juice. All right, so we've you want to tighten this up on the starter side. Make sure the connection's good there. And make sure our ground is good. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, let's take a sec to think about this some more. Eventually, we'll have them all cobbled the way we want them. Mm -hmm. The universal. How are your finger doing from where that wasp bit you? Still aggravating. Yeah. I got some mito on the truck if you need some. Uh -huh. I'll tell you what we're going to do next time, Wiley. What's that? Start at 7 in the morning. Yeah. Good idea. I'm just going to leave that, that off and just see. Okay. We grounded now. Yeah, there you go. I had to put the battery cable back on. 10-4. All right. I'm standing by with the ether. First start, 23 years. Oh, it's in gear, dude. All right, here we go. We're going to fire it up this time. It's going to go. First start, 1999. Them walls get out to me. I can't. I can't get out of here fast enough. <laughs> get a little easier. There it is. There it is. That's awesome, dude. That's incredible. Literally 23 years. Maybe I had a fuel leak, not a hydraulic leak. That is awesome. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Hydraulic. Oh, yeah, out of hydraulic oil. Yeah, we didn't check the hydraulic oil. That thing's cool, man. That's awesome, Wiley. You get popped again. <laughs> I can't believe that. 23 years. He said all it needed was batteries. He was right. I think he said it, it was hydraulic fluid is why it wasn't, why he parked it. So maybe he was right. Let me see if I see anything leaking. Oh, Wiley. Yeah, that, that fuel right there is just, um, oh, dude, let's, let me tell you something. That right there, flowing like Niagara down in there. Oh, yeah, that thing was gushing like Old Faithful, dude. That surprised me. How it fired up? Yeah. 
Well, don't be surprised, man. All it needed was batteries. Yeah, right there, it was just pouring, pouring diesel out the line right there. Matter of fact, you can see the hole. Crazy. Wow, man, I wish we had a signal, dude, and we could have live streamed that. That well, would have been a good one to live stream, wouldn't what it? What we need to do is, is catch them out here and let them air up the tires. Yeah. Pour about 10 gallons of hydraulic on there because I'm broke from buying it. <laughs> <laughs> and see if this thing will drive. Yeah, we'll do that. Cool. Maybe even patch that fuel line right there. Yeah. All right, we're going to see. The fuel's probably leaked off of it. Yeah, we're going to see if the fuel's leaked off of it. He's going to try it without Ethan. Oh, no. Let me, let me show him the fuel. Look at that. Yeah, you can see it's leaking right there. All right, so now they got a better understanding of why we don't want to run it a long time. Yeah. That really cost us about $27 to do that. <laughs> well, no, that was bought in 79. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, there you go. All right, me and Wiley are back at the 544. We got it cranked in the uh, first half of the video. We're back out here now. But I do want to mention something real quick, and it's actually got something to do with Wiley, but not the Wiley that you're thinking of, right? So since the first time we got out here and this time, it's been about a week, I guess, something like that, and probably a week or so. I've joined the Acme Tools affiliate program. You like Acme Tools, you think Wiley Coyote and yeah. the, the Red Rocket yeah. and all that. But actually, it's a company that was founded in the 40s. It's still family owned for the most part. And uh, anyway, I'll leave a link in the description. The affiliate program, they sell DeWalt, Snap-on, Makitas, uh, you name it. They sell, actually, they sell everything from screwdrivers to like dump trailers. They sell diamond, diamond seed dump trailers. No kidding. Anyway, they have the best prices that I have found anywhere on quality tools. Uh, I do get, I think it's a 3% commission if you buy from the link and that's all you pay the same price, but we do, uh, you know, get a kickback or whatever. So check out Acme Tools in the description and go buy your next tools from them. It would help our channel out. I appreciate it. Thanks, sir. What we do before impact driver? I don't know. <laughs> Life of a mechanic was a lot harder. Yeah, here. Try not to lose this nut. I just wish I was one. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, I laugh. People be like, them boys don't know what they're doing. Well, tell us something we don't know. <laughs> All right. There's this one. This will be the fun part, like oh, you said. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you, I don't know how it comes off there. Let me see if that, uh, let me see if I can swivel this piece right here. This is what's going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh. Golly. There you go, all right. Yeah. All right, well, we get that worked on. They brought a service truck here, and he's going to have an air compressor. He dropped the hose off this morning, so he's going to try to air these tires up. So once we get the line put back on, we'll be able to move it. All right, got the front one to take care, and now we'll work on the back two. All right, got the back one, the front one. We got three out of four. Let's go try the other side. While he's having to deal with some friends over there, he sprayed some liquid wrench on them, got them worked up. You want to take that side panel off like we did this side, Wiley? Let me see if I can get to it. What I like to do, Wiley, is I like to get the camera in your way so you can't actually do what you're trying to do. What? <laughs> I need a. What you need, buddy? I got you. Smaller one. All right. So we got the line off there. Just now you just got to hold your mouth right, Wiley. I'm telling you. All right, we got the fuel line off. Look at that hole right there. I don't know if y'all can. I don't know if that shows up on camera, but that's where she's leaking from. We'll get that fixed up and put her back on. All uh, right, we're configuring this here to get back on onto the machine. 
Okay. All right, we got the other side done. We got to, now we'll get this side done. Yes, sir. A sixteenth at a time, Wiley. Yeah. All right, we got to got it connected again. We're gonna keep this off so we can go get the batteries. We'll put the battery up here, get it fired up, and then try to move it. We got air in the tires. So. We're definitely gonna have to have some oil. Yeah. Hydraulic oil. Well, he. All right, we got the power source connected. Well, let's see if we do. Let me bump it over. All right. Nope. Yeah, I don't think the ground's good, Wiley. All right, we had to readjust the ground. Now he'll pump the fuel up in here. You gonna give it a little bit of? Yeah, let me go get the secret sauce here. We'll do it without it. Temple. Go ahead, bud. Look at that ground. All right, go ahead. All right. Should have been up there pedaling the... <laughs> Try it again, boss man. Should have been putting the fuel to it. Don't get stung. Just caught that air. <laughs> All right, hold on a sec. All right, whenever you're ready. So let me tell you what's going on now. The uh, hydraulics are not good on the front on the front end loader here. The gentleman said don't try to add hydraulic oil because you're just wasting it because it just pour out. So we're just going to scoot it along the ground here and try to move it. But hey, why are you trying to move it? Well, the reason we're trying to move it is because we're trying to get to here. All right, so now we're just going to move it. Out of its grave after 15, 17 years, whatever it is. All right, well, good job. First time it's moved in, in a many, many years. That's awesome. All right, Wally, good job, bud. That thing come back to life roaring, didn't it? Man, didn't it ever? See what this will do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh man, he parked it beside the blackberries. Let me grab some of these blackberries while we're over here. Yeah, get you some of that rattlesnake. You know where one's yeah. sitting in there somewhere. Listen, I ain't, worried, closer, I ain't worried about closer. that. Oh, I love this stuff. Ah! <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, look at where it was sitting. That's crazy, ain't it? That's awesome. I love doing this kind of stuff. So now that we've got it out of its grave, we're actually going to come back and we're going to do this dump truck and then there's a semi in there. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Anyway, so I'm going to bring a bush hog in here and we're going to clean all this out and it's going to be spectacular. Wiley, what do you think? That was all right. That's, yeah. It's got a good transmission in it. Yeah. It jumped right in. It was low hydraulic oil. He said don't put it in there because it'll right. just pour out. That's what he said, yeah. But, uh, that's a strong machine. Yeah. Of course, awesome. he said he parked it right there because it was leaking fuel. Yeah. Our oil. Fuel and oil. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess the fuel will hold the hole yeah. in the fuel line, too. Okay. Hey, listen, we appreciate you guys watching. Take care. God bless you guys.